What's up guys, I just finished a crazy bag day and man, I tore it up, man. So, I don't wanna waste any time. I'm gonna jump into this video, but I wanna tell you, stick around to the end because I have a huge, huge announcement, guys. So, you don't wanna miss this. So stick around to the end, watch the end of the video and comment below. See you in a minute. Let's go. What's up, people? Kelly Burke, Caribbean Fitness. Back in the gym, and it's a back day. So I want to get a few clips. Let you know how I'm training right now. So far, feeling good. And I'm getting a great pump, so let's jump into it. Let's go. Here we go. of equipment in your gym it is a must use so if you have this equipment in your gym man highly recommend it the Nautilus stuff period um, is very good Dorian Yates swore by it also I didn't know Dorian Yates said the other day I was listening to him in an interview that um, the guy that produced the Nautilus equipment his son actually made hammer strength which makes sense for both of those pieces of equipment the lines to be very good piece of equipment so I'm here at LA Fitness guys if you can see, all of their back equipment is lined up. So I could just go in a straight line down my back machines, man. That's what exactly what I'm doing. So I'm on the third one out of the row that I just did. So I didn't record the first one, but I got the second one, which you just saw me doing a hammer strength. Now I'm on the Natalist, and then I'm going to another hammer strength. So um, let's jump into it. My rep range is anywhere from 8 to 10. Um, if I'm getting warmed up on that exercise, I'm doing 12. But, so 10 reps here. Let's go. One quick thing on this machine, if you're not careful, it's gonna stretch you all the way up to where your head pops through your arms, and you don't want that. You wanna leave your head behind your, in front of your shoulders, and you wanna have your back here. So you wanna do it like this. All right, so when you start popping through, you see people do that, that's horrible um, execution of the exercise. All right, so leave your head back on it. I'm gonna switch the angle so you can see a different angle with some heavier weight, uh, but also make, make sure that you keep in mind not to push your head all the way through. You want to keep that pressure on the lats, man. So it's all about engaging the lats and working your back. You start going too forward with your head and moving your neck forward, it's shoulders. So focus on what you're doing. Let's go. All right, guys, next I'm on the hammer strength isolateral pull down. All right, so this one, same concept as the last one. Um, but if you can notice on the last one, last exercise, I could do a twist in the wrist. This one is no twist, of course. It's just gonna be underhand the whole way down. So, you should let you hit that lat from a little bit different angle, and it feels different, a lot harder too, because this one will literally pull you out of the seat if you allow it to, because the machine has so much momentum at the top that you need to resist it. So you have to control the negative very well on this machine to actually complete the exercise the proper way. So, let's jump into it. 10 reps, I got three wheels on it. Very difficult machine, but very good. So, uh, 
Yeah, man, it's kicking my butt. And being able to walk these machines back to back is, I would say, one of the best things in the world, man. You want to be able to move through the back day. That's just like legs. You want to be able to, because legs is so difficult, back is such a big thing to work. It's easier when you don't have to bounce all around the gym. So Get another one, Horn. This is really good one. We got some barbell rows, and I'm going to superset these with uh, seated cable uh, pulls. So 10 here and 10 on the seated cable pulls. I got 185 on here, and then the seated cable pulls are going to be very heavy. Like 110, 120, something like that. So I like supersetting these two to get them over with because I'm not a fan of either ones, but I'll definitely do them. Here we go. the line and bar up with my belly button so pull it to your belly button stretch past the knee and then come back out back up without moving the knee you see so many people moving the knee with this exercise that turns into a deadlift or a squat your knees should be locked it's like bending them but do not move them as you're moving an exercise the only thing that should be moving is your arms and your back all right so let's jump to the seated caper roll All right, guys, so that is it for the workout. So without further ado, look, Kelly Burke is coming back to the stage. I know, man, I know. I know my butt said I would never come back to the stage. I know I said I was done competing, but I lied. I lied. I'm coming back. I got the itch. I'm ready to roll. September the 23rd, San Antonio Pro. Um, I'm ready, guys. So that is the show I placed the best at it as a pro. I got top five, fifth place at that show for my pro debut, and I want my redemption. So September the 23rd, I'll see you guys there if you're in the area. Comment, like, subscribe, share the video, and I'll talk to you guys later. I'll do another video talking about why I'm coming back to the stage. But for now, just know, the true classic, Kelly Burke, is back. Let's go.